Today I'm going to be learning more about Finland, this time with 52 mind-blowing facts you must know. Uh, so yeah, as always, if you're from Finland, tell me if you know these facts. Uh, tell me if there's any other interesting facts about Finland that are not on this list. Uh, let's watch and find out. You know that Finland has a Burger King with a sauna inside? That's just the not. tip of the iceberg when it comes Have to this Nordic there? nation. In this video, we're venturing beyond the conventional, unmasking 50 remarkable facts about Finland that remain largely unknown. So, strap yourself in for this exciting ride into the breathtaking, surprising, and sometimes downright strange world of Finland. You won't believe what we're about to reveal. 1. Nestled in the northern reaches of Europe, the Republic of Finland offers a unique geographic blend. It borders Sweden to the west on the Scandinavian peninsula, Russia to the east, Estonia to the south across the Gulf of Finland, and Norway to the north. The country is also bounded by the Baltic Sea. 2. Yeah, tell me if there's any like Swedish, Norwegian, Russian influences on those different areas, whether it's cuisine, any traditions or anything like that. Havlosto National Park is home to the southernmost fell chain in the country. The park showcases the magnificent Pihan Luosto Fells, which are ancient, steep-sided mountains formed over millions of years. Wow, These beautiful. fells offer breathtaking views of the surrounding landscapes. 3. Tell me if After you Finland know. gained its independence from Russia and Sweden, it instituted its own monarchy, which lasted for only two months and seven days. The reign was so brief that the appointed king wasn't even crowned during his 67 days in office. Huh? 4. For the sixth time in a row, Finland has won the title of the world's happiest country, according to the World Happiness Report. This recognition is based on various measures, including GDP per capita, healthy life expectancy, and social support. 5. One of the biggest snow hotels in the world is located in Finland. Each year, the hotel is carved out of snow and ice, featuring a unique design that differs from the previous year. The snow hotel welcomes tourists, offering them the opportunity to stay in unique rooms surrounded by snow and ice. Even the beds are made of ice. For those who enjoy a nice drink, they can indulge in one served in a frozen glass at the ice bar. Si oh, cool. Tell me if you've been there before. Is that somewhere people from Finland actually visit? Is it just purely tourists from other countries? If you've stayed there or know anybody that stayed there, what's it actually like? Is it enjoyable to stay in one of those? Is it comfortable? I can't imagine. Be I would love to try it, definitely. It seems like a like, once-in-a-lifetime sort of opportunity for somebody from not from Finland. Uh, but tell me if you would enjoy that. Six. While foreigners refer to the country as Finland, the locals call their country Suomi. Suomi the yeah. origin of this name is unknown, and why it's used remains a mystery. 7. If you're visiting Finland and wish to take in the beautiful vistas of nature, then a trip to Palasjalas Journey National Park is a must. This natural park, located in western Lapland within the municipalities of Enotekio, Katilia, Kolari, and Muoniono, offers visitors a chance to breathe some of the world's purest air while taking in a breathtaking view of the country. Oh, that, I mean, that was really stunning, really so different. I, I've seen a lot of national parks from different countries, but to see a snow-covered one with that beautiful sky cycling through there, that's another like very unique experience. Tell me if you've been there. Tell me what your favourite national park in Finland is and why. 8. According to the Guinness World Record, the Finnish word Saipuakiva Kapuapuias, which means dealer in lie, caustic soda, holds the title for the world's longest palindrome. Let me hear that again. Dealer in lie, the Finnish word Saipuakiva Kapuapuias, which means dealer in lie, caustic soda, holds the title for the world's longest palindrome, signifying a word or phrase that reads the same backward as forward. 9. The small I town of Sankarjvi in Finland is known for hosting a unique annual event called the International Wife Carrying Championships. During this competition, husbands carry their wives along a 250 meter long track with various obstacles in a 1 meter deep water pool. At the end of the competition, the winner receives the wife's weight in beer. Yeah, I've heard that before. Tell me, is that like popular? I've asked if people have taken part in it before, but is it on TV? Is there any famous celebrities or famous participants from it that anybody knows for any reason? And Finland is regarded as the world capital of saunas because Sauna. there are saunas littered everywhere, even in city apartments and country cottages. 
With about 3 million saunas in total, make sure to enjoy this experience when you visit the country. Yeah, have you been to the Burger King sauna? I can't even imagine, would you eat your food in there? Would that be comfortable? 11. There are 187,888 lakes in Finland, which is a lot of water for a country with a land area of just 338,450 square kilometers. The largest lake in the country is Saima, which covers an approximate Saima. area of 4,279 square kilometers, making it the fourth largest natural freshwater lake in all of Europe. Even that is 12. just beautiful. The capital too. of Finland is Helsinki, and it is located along the Gulf of Finland on the southern tip of the country. 13. The Republic of Finland is referred to as the second most densely forested country in Europe because about 72% of the country is covered with forest. 14. In the remote village of Kilipstarvi, nestled within the Arctic landscape of Lapland, lies the northernmost point where Finland, Sweden, and Norway meet at the Three Country Cairn. Cool. This unique location offers visitors the chance to stand in three countries simultaneously, immersing themselves in the wonders of the Arctic environment, with the Have magnificent Kilipstarvi Lake and the iconic Sana Fell as its backdrop. 15. One Finnish delicacy that some may find unusual is verluatit, also known as the beer and rye blood pancake. This pancake is prepared with ingredients including wheat and rye flour, beer or milk, butter, marjoram, salt, onion and blood. Six so is that like a black pudding type thing? In the UK we eat black pudding which is blood, it doesn't have the beer in it but the other ingredients might be similar. I love black pudding, that's one of my favourite things. Even when I came to Asia to live, where there's a lot of interesting and unique food, a lot of people think I'm crazy for eating it, but it's just, for me, it's perfect. It's so tasty. 16. Here are some funny Finnish proverbs to make you smile. Instead of saying vanished into thin air, the Finns say disappeared like a fart in Sahara. <laughs> in their language, it is said, Kadoto kuain pieru saharan. Kadoto kuain pieru saharan. Instead of saying, as a result of a rush, something was implemented poorly, they say, pissed while running. In Finnish, <laughs> it is said, juosten kustu. Juosten kustu. Instead of the Finns saying, shut up when angry, they say, take you behind the sauna. In their <laughs> language, it is said, viada saunan taxi. Viada saunan taxi. That's like very interesting that they use quite Finnish, they, I mean using this sauna in one of their idioms is quite interesting that you get these like very uniquely Finnish things in their language. Tell me if there's any other interesting things like, like that that you say that are very uniquely Finnish. Instead of encouraging you to drink more, Finnish people simply say, a drop won't kill and you can't drown in a bucket. In their language, that is it is said, I tipa tapa aika amparin huku. <laughs> and there are many more similar proverbs. That is a very true proverb, man. Everybody loves to eat sausage, but would you be willing to try the Finnish blood sausage known as musta makara? Musta makara. Before you answer that, let me tell you the ingredients used in preparing this age-long delicacy. Blood sausage is made from pork meat, blood, and rye flour. Let me know if you would be willing to try this out. In case your answer is yes, one of the best places to enjoy it is at the Tempere Market Hall, Kwapahali. So I guess that one is more like black pudding. Yes, I would definitely try it. I like mine's like sliced and then fried a little bit. Tell me how it's prepared in Finland. It was with a donut there. I don't I don't get the relationship between that and a donut. Usually in the UK we have it with breakfast, with like other sausages, bacon, bread and things like that. 18. The two main official languages of Finland are Finnish and Swedish. 19. Savonlina, a city in Finland, is known for hosting an annual event known as the Mobile Phone Throwing Championship. The inaugural competition took place in the year 2000, and since then it has gained popularity across several European countries, including the UK, Switzerland, and Norway. The participant who manages to throw their phone the farthest is declared the winner. The phones used in the competition are Nokia. donated specifically for the event and are recycled afterwards. So is that, like, I thought it might be Nokia testing the Nokia 3310, which is like a meme now because it's indestructible. Maybe everybody was throwing that, but again, another very interesting sport or event coming from Finland. Tell me what your favorite unique event like this is in Finland. 20. Finland is one of the Nordic countries that experiences the phenomenon known as White Night. 
During these white nights, the sun only sets for a brief period with its light still visible on the horizon. This event bathes the night sky in a blue glow, making it bright enough to walk in the forest or on the streets without the need for artificial light. While many foreigners find it difficult to sleep during this occurrence, the locals, already accustomed to it, enjoy their restful nights. Hmm. 21. There is a village in Rovaniemi, Finland, called Santa Claus Village. It is believed that Santa Claus has lived in this village for centuries. Unlike in other Christian countries where Santa Claus is typically seen only on Christmas, people who live in or visit this village have the opportunity to see him every day. Santa Claus warmly welcomes not only children but also adults, sending them off with goodies from his gift sack and spreading cheer and warmth. 20 yeah, that's one thing I didn't know is that, of course in Finland, is or thought that Santa comes from Lapland, and that that's that kind of story is only in certain European countries, and in others it's the North Pole. I didn't know there was like a difference in how people knew that story or what how that story presented itself in different countries. Tell me if you're from Finland. Of course, was it always thought that Santa's from Lapland rather than the North 22. Pole? Just like any other country, Finland has its own superstitious beliefs, some of which include If small bubbles form on the surface of your coffee and they move towards you, it means more money is coming your way. However, if the bubbles move away from you, it signifies a loss of money. If your nose tickles or you suddenly turn red, it's believed that someone is thinking of you. Finns all Yeah, I think in the UK, when you're... I think it's if your nose gets itchy or your ear gets itchy or something, then it means someone's talking about you. So similar, but different uh, also hold tradition. the belief that if you place seven different kinds of flowers under your pillow on St. John's night, you will see your future lover's identity in your dreams. In Finland, the first sneeze is considered good luck, the second signals bad luck, the third signifies fortune, and the fourth indicates sickness. If mm. you kill a spider, yes, it's said sense. to bring rainfall the following day. 23. The Finnish word sisu describes the people's stoic determination, hardiness, courage, bravery, willpower, tenacity, and resilience. The word dates back 500 years, and it is reflected in their action-oriented approach. Finns do not believe in boasting about having sisu. Instead, mm. they allow others to witness it through their everyday lives. 24. Las Kisusi, also Ooh, known as Sian Halaksike, which translates to pork sauce, is a traditional Finnish stew made of pork belly, which is fried in butter with onions and flour and stirred in water with salt and pepper. This sauce oh. is often served with mashed potato, pickled cucumber, and lingonberry. Oh, 25. Every 13th of October in Finland is International Day for Failure. This might sound funny, but hear the reason. In 2010, a group of students at Aalto University in Finland figured that many Finns are scared to start new businesses due to the fear of failing. From that point onwards, the country has celebrated the International Day for Failure. During this celebration, people are encouraged to venture into new areas, successful individuals are motivated to share their stories to inspire others, and most importantly, everyone is reminded that making mistakes and experiencing failure are normal parts of life. Mm. I actually really like that. That's a great idea. It sounded a bit strange at first hearing International Day of Failure, but it's such a great learning experience from people. Failure, they always say, is like a great, like the, the best way to learn about anything. So to actually celebrate that is actually a very intelligent thing to do. Tell me how you take part in that or how you've ever celebrated that, if you have. Six, Nuxio National Park is a natural site located near the capital city of Finland. The park features beautiful lakes, green forests, and rugged crags, attracting people who seek a unique picnic or camping experience. 27. Karelia pies or pasties are regarded as Finland's national delicacy. They consist of a rice porridge surrounded by a rye flour crust, baked until slightly browned, and are famous throughout the country. I've seen this so many the things stew, I need to known try. Known as Karelia stew is often eaten on special occasions such as Christmas or Finland's Independence Day celebration. 28. In ancient times, the Finnish had some unusual beliefs regarding animal symbolism. Some of them are in the 16th century, snake worship was common. People kept snakes as pets and fed them with cows or sheep's milk, believing that they would guard their homes and properties. 
In the prehistoric period, bears were revered as gods, making the animal sacred and not to be consumed. When a child lost their first tooth, it was offered to a spider by being placed in a spider's web. This was done in the belief that the spider would bring the child iron teeth in return. Birds were considered signs of good luck. The Finns believed that if many small birds remained in their yard throughout the winter, they would reap a huge crop harvest the next summer. They also believed that little birds were the souls of deceased children. It was believed that after death, a person's spirit would emerge from their body in the form of a butterfly. Whoa. 29. Whoa. That is like some interesting beliefs there. Like a lot of them were, they were quite mind-blowing to me. Uh, the one about the tooth being put in a spider's web, very interesting. Of course, in the UK, we have like the tooth fairy. Tell me if there's any sort of what the tradition is now for losing a tooth. Is it like a tooth fairy? Is there anything else that you do? Fine. One of tooth? the most visited locations in Finland is Sibelius Park. The park is located in the Toolo district of the country's capital, Helsinki. It is a relaxing and famous city park with a well-kept green area that features wild growing plants, trees, rocks and birches. Among all the beautiful spots in this location, the most popular one is the metal monument devoted to the Finnish composer Jan Sibelius, to whom the park is also dedicated. 30. The second largest water tunnel in the world is called the Pajan Water Tunnel, located in the southern part of Finland. The tunnel measures over 120,000 meters long okay. and runs between 30 to 100 meters below ground level, providing water to millions of inhabitants in the southern part of the country, including Helsinki, Espo, and Vanta. That's just 31. E excellent Finland engineering. Finland granted women the right to vote in 1906, making it the first European country to do so. In 1907, they took it a step further by allowing women to enter the parliament. 32. Here are some Finnish words you should know. They will help with communication if you plan on visiting Finland. Kitos means please or thank you. Hi hi means hi or bye. Mita tama tuo on means what is this? Kipis means cheers. Olin haivin means I am fine. Moi means hi. Haiva huomenta means good morning. Mita kulu means how are you? Mina esosa suoma haivin means I don't speak Finnish well. Mina rakastan sinua means I love you. 33. According to the World Health Organization, Finland has the cleanest air in the world. This means that the average level of airborne particles in the country is 6 micrograms per cubic meter. 34. Pregnant women who are residents of Finland are eligible for free maternity and child welfare clinic services from the local healthcare facility during and after pregnancy. 35. One of the tourist sites in Finland is the Helsinki Cathedral. This gorgeous church building is located in the city of Helsinki and showcases a distinctive neoclassical architectural style. Mm. Tourists who visit the country often go to this location to admire and capture pictures of its extraordinary architectural designs. Mm. Stunning. 36. Especially in Different this location, locations really in Finland have been used by filmmakers as film locations. Some of the films shot in the country include Addiction, Raid, Love and Other Troubles, The Jigsaw Man, Tears of April, Farewell, Mr. President, Where to Invade Next, and others. 37. The Petajavisi Old Church is a fine example of North European wooden architecture from the 18th century. It was built between 1763 and 1765 and is also listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The church is cherished by the natives and is usually open to visitors daily between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Yeah, so like really seeing some interesting architecture, that's something I really enjoy seeing when I go to different countries, looking at the unique architecture of uh, whatever country I'm in. But tell me how the architecture of Finland compares to the surrounding countries, whether it is Russia, Sweden, Norway. Uh, what is unique to Finland with regards to architecture? 38. The Finnish love for saunas extends to it being a competition. The purpose of the competition is to test the participants' endurance levels. Competitors are required to endure a long, steaming hot sauna with a starting temperature of 110 degrees Celsius. Ladlefuls of water are thrown on the hot rocks every 30 seconds, further raising the temperature. Wow. 39. The Finns are among the biggest coffee consumers in Europe, with each person consuming about 3 to 5 cups per day. If 3 to 5 cups a day, the average person? Is that, is that true? How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? I drink one double espresso every morning. That's enough for me. Maybe 
one before lunchtime or after lunchtime, but that's about it. Three to five cups a day sounds quite crazy. If you are a coffee lover and would like to taste Nordic coffee during your next visit to Finland, you should try coffee shops such as Robert's Coffee, Brooklyn Coffee, Tea House, or any others that pique your interest. Hmm. For Tell me what your favorite coffee shop in Finland is and how is the coffee? Is it really good quality coffee? Uh, in Finland. The Linux computer operating system was created by Finnish software engineer Linus Torvalds and the Free Software Foundation in the early 1990s. 41. Esplanadi is a scenic environment that lies in the heart of Helsinki. Established in the 19th century, it features two historic one-way streets and a large public park. Locals and tourists who visit the site enjoy long strolls along the pebble path with the beautiful view of old trees. 42. Vapu, also known as May Day, Vapu. is a major spring annual festival celebrated in Finland on the 1st of May. The festival takes place throughout Finland, featuring various traditions such as picnicking, drinking, and wearing white caps in student overalls. Oh, Vapu so. originally started as an ancient ritual, but was later Christianized and integrated into the church calendar as the Feast of St. Walburgus. For and like, it looks like a huge turnout, really busy... Uh, places there to celebrate celebrate that day. Tell me how you celebrate that 43. yourself. Finland is home to several wild animals, including the whooper swan, lynx, great grey owl, wolf, bear, wolverine, Siberian jaybirds, ermine, white-tailed eagle, and others. 44. Finnish athletes have won a total of 305 medals at the Summer Games, mostly in wrestling and athletics. The country has also won 175 medals at the Winter Games, mainly in Nordic skiing competitions. Mm. For Tell me who the most famous Finnish sports person is. Who are you most proud of? Who's your favourite? Uh, of course, I know motorsport like Kimi Raikkonen, Mika Hakkinen, amazing drivers uh, from Finland. I, I, my favourite sport's football, so I know like guys like Jari Lippmanen, uh, Mikael Forsell, I'm a Rangers fan, so Antti Niemi was our goalkeeper at one time as well. Uh, tell me if what sports or sports people from Finland I should make a reaction to. 45. Turku Castle is an old majestic castle that was built in the 13th century, around the same time as Turku Cathedral. This building is the oldest occupied building in Finland. It was initially constructed as a military defense, but now it serves as the most visited museum in the country. Tourists love to explore the castle, discovering its twisted passages, period furniture, and outdoor courtyards. 46. The popular video game Angry Birds was created by a Finnish game developer called Revio in 2009. 47. Finland has witnessed a remarkable phenomenon known as the Hobby Horse Revolution. Yeah, Finnish seen a video for that have on taken up the recently. hobby of riding and competing with homemade hobby horses, combining athleticism with imaginative play. 48. Education in Finland is unique in many ways. The Finnish government provides free education to children who typically begin school at the age of seven or older. 49. With approximately 84.5 heavy metal bands per 100,000 citizens, Finland boasts the highest number of metal bands per capita in the world. The country is also home to an annual open-air metal festival called Tuska, which translates to agony or pain. Held in the capital city of Helsinki, the festival had its first edition in 1998 and has since grown to accommodate heavy metal music lovers from around the globe. Hmm. Yeah, tell me, uh, people have recommended some different Finnish music to react to. Tell me your favorite heavy metal, rock, or any genre of music. Tell me your favorite artist from Finland. And yeah, maybe make a, a reaction to a couple of them or a video of different genres. Tell me about that. 50. Nokia Company, Nokia. the company that produced the world's first commercially available GSM phone, is located in Tampere, Finland. The company was founded by two friends, Frederick Idestam and Leo Michelin, in 1865. 51. The Republic of Finland has also produced some celebrated figures in our world. Some of them are Sara Alto, Linus Torvalds, Tarha Turinen, Kimi Rakanen, Valtteri Bottas, Sanna Marin, Yahi Kuri, Ville Valo, Mikael Monroe, Riku Niemannen, and so many others. 52. If you are a lover of good music and the arts, then you should consider planning a visit to Finland in July to be a part of the Kaustinen Folk Music Festival. 
The festival, which has been around since 1968, is a one-week event showcasing folk music and dance in the town of Kastunenen. It is one of the biggest and most important festivals of its kind in the Nordic countries, attracting professionals and upcoming artists from around the world. Thank you for watching this video. Which country would you like to see next? Yeah, that was very interesting. Again, recommend some Finnish folk music as well. Check that out. Brilliant. A lot of them, yeah, even though I've reacted to a lot of different videos about Finland before, I never knew most of them. So that was very enlightening for me. Definitely a lot of unique things about Finland. Tell me if you, if, tell me if you're from Finland, did you know all of these? Is there anything new there that you learned? And yeah, recommend some music from Finland, some movies, some TV shows, some comedians. I'll check them out soon as well. Thanks.